If you are tired of grinding badges offline, then be sure to hit up my boys over at Hero Grinders for the fastest, easiest, and most legit badge grinding service in the world. Top links in the description. Fun fact, only 6.7% of you guys are actually subscribed to this channel. So please, if you do enjoy the video, consider subscribing. Also, if you haven't already liked the video, it helps me out so much and enjoy the video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best build for every single position in NBA 2 21 next gen. So starting off with the very first build of the video, we are gonna go ahead and be a point guard. For the body settings, we're gonna leave the height default. If we go any lower, there's kind of no point. We're gonna be too scrawny. And if we go any higher, we're just gonna be way too slow. Next, we're gonna skip weight, move on to the wingspan and bump this up to six to nine. If we go any higher than this, we'll lose the 95 three point rating. For the weight, we're gonna go ahead and drop this not to minimum, but to 180. If you go down to minimum, there's kind of no point. 180 has just as much speed acceleration as 1. 70 but it gets way more badges and is way more strong on this screen you guys know the drill we're getting the obvious things out of the way right now and boom just like this all of the obvious things are out of the way the first thing that i'm going to do is obviously upgrade defensive and rebounding i'm going to max out defensive rebound as you see this gives us a ton of badges defensive rebound is the easiest thing to upgrade which is why it's the first thing i upgraded and the second thing i'm going to upgrade is block we'll put this up to a 44 block is extremely important because as you guys know, everyone just rim runs and without block, you really can't contest them. Scrolling up to playmaking and pass accuracy. Let's go ahead, bump this up to 74. We can have 20 playmaking badges. This is a ton of playmaking badges and it's more than enough for a point guard. Moving on to shooting, we're gonna scroll up to free throw and put this up to 73. As you can see, we can have 24 shooting badges. Shooting is the most important category for all builds and especially a point guard. Moving on to finishing, we're gonna go ahead and bump up post control. As you can see, we can have four finishing badges. What I'm actually going to go ahead and do is drop speed and acceleration down to a 91 since I don't really notice the difference. And also, when you have Gym Rat and hit 99 overall, I'm pretty sure you get 99 speed and acceleration anyways. What we're also going to do is drop down the stamina to an 88. As you can see, if we scroll up to finishing, we can go ahead and jump from four finishing badges to nine finishing badges by maxing out post control, standing dog, and bumping up the driving layup to a 75. What we can actually do is drop the standing dunk down to a 42 and still have nine finishing badges i'm gonna go ahead and do this and additionally if you throw all of our ratings onto pass accuracy we can get a 21st playing badge which is absolutely insane the fact that you can lose just a few physical ratings and get this many badges is absolutely insane and do it if you want to it's fully up to you at the end of the day it is your build moving on to takeovers i'm gonna go ahead and go with double sharp take since i do believe that you can take over way faster if you have double sharp take on your point guard and as you guys can see, I've built a scoring machine. Moving on to the shooting guard build. Moving on to the shooting guard build. Since we are a shooting guard, I decide that this build is going to be a pure sharpshooter. Onto the body settings, what we're pretty much gonna do for the height is V66, taller is always better. As you can see, our three point rating does drop a little bit, but we can fix this by dropping our wingspan to six foot nine. And then since we are a sharpshooter, we don't really need strength, but we more so need speed and acceleration. So we're gonna drop our weight down to minimum as usual on this screen Let's get the obvious things out of the way right now and boom just like that All of the obvious things are out of the way the first thing that I am gonna go ahead and do is bump our offensive rebound at 2 max We're gonna upgrade defense more later But for now, let's just go ahead and skip this and see what we have left moving on to playmaking as you guys can see I haven't touched this at all The reason why I did this is because in order to be a good playmaker You need to have the ball in your hands and as an off ball shooter you're never really gonna have the ball in your hands i know a lot of comp lockdowns that actually don't touch playmaking at all however i do think having a little bit of ball handling skills is important so what i am gonna go ahead and do is pretty much max out our ball handle to an 87 and then bump our speed with ball up so we can have three playmaking badges as you can see we can't get gold quick first step so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is bump up our speed with ball to a 74 and then drop our ball handle down to an 86 
86 ball handle is the highest tier of drill moves and anything past that is kind of just extra. So being able to have an 86 ball handle is really clutch. For pure sharpshooter, the only real badge you need is gold quick first step, which is why you guys see I have three playmaking badges. The next thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is scroll up to shooting and then bump up our free throw to an 82. This means we'll have exactly 27 shooting badges. I know as a pure sharpshooter, you guys would think we would need 30 shooting badges. However, I decided to only have 27 since 30 is just so excessive. The only thing that I'm gonna do for finishing is max out driving layup. Actually, we can drop this down one to 94 and still four finishing badges. For finishing, you honestly only need posterizer. Everything after that is kind of just extra. If you throw all of our ratings onto steel, we can have 86 steel. However, if we drop our stamina down just a little bit, we can get our 21st defense and rebounding badge, which I do think is worth it. We have one rating left that we can kind of throw anywhere. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it on standing dunk. For the takeovers, we're a pure sharpshooter. We need double sharp takeover. As you guys can see, we have built a two-way shot creator. This is kind of an interesting name, but it does kind of make sense. Moving on to build number three. Moving on to the small forward build. This is going to be your pure lockdown build. For the body settings, we're gonna go ahead and leave the height default. As you can see, if we drop the height down or move it up, we lose more defensive ratings than we gain, which is not something we wanna be doing. And then for the weight, we're gonna go ahead and drop this down to minimum. In my opinion, strength actually isn't that important because very few people are posting you up. For the wingspan, we're gonna go ahead and max this out. Obviously, having a longer wingspan helps you with defense. As usual on the screen, let's get the obvious things out of the way right now. And boom, just like this, all of the obvious things are out of the way. The first thing that I am going to go ahead and do is max out interior defense. Already all four actual defensive ratings are upgraded to max. But what I am actually going to do is bump up our defensive rebound to a 52 and our offensive rebound to a 28. Moving on to playmaking, we're going to bump our ball handle up to an 80. 80 ball handle means that we're able to unlock pro drill moves which is extremely important to be able to dribble on any build and then with the speed with ball we're gonna go ahead and bump this up to a 77 this means we can have exactly three playing badges and get gold quick first step moving on to free throw and shooting we're gonna go ahead and bump our free throw up to a 94 to have 22 shooting badges and then with the rest of our attributes we're gonna scroll up to finishing and throw them all on standing dunk moving on to the takeovers the first takeover we're gonna go ahead and go with extreme clamps as we are lockdown build and then with the second takeover let's go with spot of precision as you can see we have built a two-way three level score which i guess is a kind of fitting name moving on to the power forward build moving on to the fourth and the power forward build of this video honestly i think this is going to be the best build in this video since power forwards are just so overpowered this year for the body settings we're going to go ahead and drop the height down to six seven this way we're just as fast as possible and we can unlock pro drill moves and then with the weight we're also going to drop this minimum as i said before having speed is more important than having strength finally for the weight we're gonna actually max this out overall having max wingspan just helps you way more on defense and just get more badges in general as usual we're getting the obvious things out of the way right now i'm gonna go ahead and scroll up to defensive rebound and max out offensive rebound actually i'm not gonna quite max this out we're gonna drop this down to 86 to have exactly 24 defensive rebounding badges scrolling up to playmaking and pass accuracy we're gonna go ahead and bump our pass accuracy up to exactly an 89 so we can have 28 playmaking badges having playing badges is extremely important on this build especially since we are kind of like a point forward on to shooting we're gonna go ahead and upgrade free throw to a 63 to have 17 total shooting badges in my opinion this is more than enough to be able to shoot consistently in this game and then with the rest of our attributes we're gonna max outstanding dunk and bump up post control to a 46 if we go ahead and drop our stamp down to an 85 and then throw all of those ratings onto a 56 post control as well we now have our 17th finishing badge having both 17 finishing badges and 17 shooting badges isn't just something that i do because i think it looks cool it's something that i do because it's extremely badge efficient overall we have 86 total badges which is absolutely insane we also have one more attribute that i'm just gonna go ahead and throw an offensive rebound moving on to takeovers for some reason we don't get sharp shooting takeover however it's all right we're gonna go ahead and go with finishing move which is just so overpowered and then with the second takeover let's go with extreme clamps and as you can see i built an offensive threat i honestly have no clue why that's its name considering the fact they only have 17 in both finishing and shooting but i have 
24 in defense and rebounding. However, moving on to the final central build of the video. Moving on to the final build of the video. This is going to be, as you guys already know, the center build. For the body settings, we're actually going to drop the height down to minimum. Yes, I know it's kind of weird. However, having this much pain acceleration on a center build is so crazy to me, which is why I want the height to be minimum. And then to maximize the speed and acceleration even more, we're also going to drop the weight to minimum. Well, what we're actually going to go ahead and do is bump up our weight to 219 pounds, because as you guys can see, up until this point, we don't lose any ratings. For the wingspan, we're actually going to drop this down to seven foot three. As you guys can see, we gain a little bit of three point rating, which I think is absolutely worth it. On the screen, as usual, let's get the obvious things out of the way right now. And boom, just like that, all the obvious things are out of the way. The first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is go get gold brick wall by upgrading our strength to a 62. Next, I'm also going to go ahead and max out perimeter defense. If you didn't know this year, your perimeter defense is also attached to your lateral quickness. So if I have no perimeter defense, I'm going to be super slow on the defensive end. We can actually just upgrade our interior defense one rating to 26 and we actually get our 26, the defensive and rebounding badge. Next, we're going to go ahead and bump up our speed of the ball to a 70. In total, we'll have 25 playmaking badges. Scrolling up to shooting, we're going to go ahead and bump up our free throw up to a 52 and we'll have a total of 13 shooting badges. I know 13 shooting badges is pretty low. However, you have an 83 three-point rating, which is more than enough to be able to shoot consistently on this game. On to finishing, we're going to go ahead and max out standing dunk. And then we're going to go ahead and throw all of our attributes on to close shot. With the leftover ratings, what I'm going to go ahead and do is throw them all onto free throw. We'll have a 54 free throw. And then I guess we'll throw the rest of them on close shot. And we'll have a 36 close shot. Moving on to the takeover. Since you are a center, the first takeover has to be see the future. And then with the second takeover, you go the sharp takeover if you want to. But for some reason, finishing moves has been really good recently. And as you guys can see, I built a playmaking three level score. Anyways, you guys, if you did enjoy the video, that's pretty much it for it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out so much. Like the video if you enjoyed it or just found the video helpful. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.